Good evening, MP Amit Kumar, who was a pilot in three squadrons, big pilot, and he met with some motorcycle accident. After that, he was totally disabled. Then he was at Khadki Hospital for a very really long time. But even then, being not able to do with anything with his hands, I think he used to keep the pencil in the mouth. And he has written a lot of uh, good uh, this one uh, write up about 71 war and all. So. More interesting story will be given by our artist, sir. So it is going to be excellent and it is going to be moral booster for everybody. Sir, you can take over. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Patak, sir, thank you so much for yes, inviting sir. me again. And yes. uh, thank you for the introduction. And what we are going to uh, speak about, uh, whom you are going to speak about today is about... Okay, I, I have invited some of my close friends also. So they are also joining in in a minute. Yeah. So today, uh, good evening, everybody, and it's good to be back on this forum again. The last time I was here, I spoke to you about the tsunami of 2004 and how the Indian Air Force kind of rebuilt the Air Force station of Karnikobar in a record time. So today's story is also about rebuilding life, rebuilding life, but this is about a one person only. This is not about a large number of persons hit by a tragedy. One person was hit by a tragedy in uh, way back uh, in 1988 and so I'm going to talk about him. So firstly, MP Anil Kumar and I go back a long way. We started our journey together in the Indian Air Force in 1984 and before that we joined the NDA in 1981. So we were course mates, batch mates and good friends from the time we joined the academy. If you don't mind, I might get a little sentimental while speaking today because I consider MP as my mentor and he is, has been a motivator for me all my life from the time I have known him. So I might get a little uh, sentimental, but don't mind that. I will be talking about MP Anil Kumar's life, which I have recorded in a book called Born to Fly. It's called Born to Fly. It was uh, released by Sri Manohar Parekar, the then Defense Minister of India. And uh, while he was speaking on stage, in fact, he also had tears in his eyes when he spoke about MP Anil Kumar. But the story is not the story is not all that you know only about crying and only about bad things in life. It teaches us much much more than what what you and I can even even think about. The story is about resilience. The story is about never to give up, and the story is about being happy in whatever circumstances that you are in. So this is the story of M P Anil Kumar. So um, without um, further ado, I think I will start the presentation. It's a very short presentation. I would rather answer more questions in this talk rather than, you know, talk, talk and talk all, all myself. So uh, I will just share my screen and then I will be talking to you about MP Anil Kumar. Here we go. So I have called this presentation that there is no battle. There is no battle that the mind cannot win. And that is the, the tagline of my story, of my book also, that there is no battle that the mind cannot win. The mind is the strongest and the mind can do anything that it wants to. And if you have control over your mind, then the sky is the limit. So this is what this whole story is all about, right? I want you all close your eyes. Just close your eyes. I will be talking something. You have to imagine something. So please close your eyes. Let's do meditation for about a few seconds to a minute. Let's think that... We are all sitting in a wheelchair. We have no control over our hands and our legs. We can only move our neck. We can speak. And most importantly, we can think. So just think about it that you can't move your legs and hands. You can only talk. That's it. Somebody has to come and feed you when you're hungry. Somebody has to take you to the bathroom, press your stomach to do your thing in the bathroom. Somebody has to turn you around in the bed every 30 minutes. Somebody has to turn the page of your newspaper or book that you're reading. You are completely incontinent. You are completely, you know, dependent on somebody. Can you think of it about yourself being like that? A fly or a mosquito is biting you on your nose or troubling you, you know, hovering around your eyes. Your immediate reaction is to 
move your hands to swat it away but you are sitting in the wheelchair and not able to do it how would you feel so now open your eyes you just were in the chair of mp anil kumar this is what he was he was completely dependent on the people who were around him and he could not do anything himself what a life this man led we will talk about it in a moment right on your screen are two writings given there the left one is blue right one is slightly yellow when you are seeing this this is the father this is the letter to his father written on 30th may 88 and the second one is another letter written written to his father again at a later date can you see any difference in the handwriting one of this has been written by hand and the other one has been written by his mouth the one which is circled in red has been written by his mouth try writing one letter with your mouth if you ever get a chance to do so hold your mouth steady you can't move anything below your neck and try and write a word look at what he has written look at how cleanly he has written without cutting anything look at how his handwriting is as if it is a flowing handwriting or mouth writing if i may call it okay this requires immense immense mental control coordination and determination right moving on now who was mp arul kumar what i will just tell you in a nutshell what this man is all about so mp anil kumar was born in a very very small village about 30 kilometers uh, north of trivandrum and uh, in a very very low middle class family he has uh, one brother and two sisters who are alive today he has one mother who is alive and his father passed away when he was in in pune he went first he started in a very small what we call kanya putri patshala kind of you know very small school in his village till this class 4th appeared for the senic school examination for senic school kazakutum passed the examination joined senic school kazakutum in class 5 and from class 5 to class 12 he studied in senic school kazakutum and was completely transformed into a military man in as far as as much as what a senic school can make one into he excelled in all activities that he did he was one of the best cricketing legends of his school he used to play football he used to do gymnastics in fact in nda when we were there he could in any dress that he was wearing he could do a backflip and a somersault just standing anywhere that was the kind of you know physical attributes that this man had so pt was piece of cake for him academics he was a torch holder all through his life in the nda so brilliant in academics brilliant in outdoors and when he passed out from the national defense academy he was number 4 in the order of merit he could have been number 1 or number 2 but there's a small incident that happened which i think i must share it now itself what happened was there was this we have these school groups in nda so end of the term mein sab log chai party karte hain wahan pe so they all meet for you know squadron socials and school socials so he he was to go for a school social and since he was to become an appointment that was in fifth term sorry in fifth term he had still got 6 months more to stay in india he had to he was also called by the battalion commander by the battalion commander is a group captain level officer there so he was called by the battalion commander for a cup of tea because he was going to become the battalion cadet captain of the third battalion at the national defense academy so he was supposed to be the boss of that whole lot of cadets in sixth term he chose not to go to the tea party hosted by the battalion commander and landed up for a school social because he felt that he should be with his school boys who were passing out of the academy and as one of the senior most of his school after these guys go he wanted to give them a befitting farewell so he had his reasons for it and when he was asked why did he, he did not go he was man enough to give the correct answer in the sense what he felt about the whole thing he said that i went for the social because i felt it was more important so he was very outspoken he got into trouble he got into they did not making the bcc they made him only a division cavalry captain that means he was only in charge now of 26 instead of 500 boys so they they could not make him just normal cadet because he was as it was brilliant in everything so because of which his merit finally went down okay we'll come back to the story again so mpl kumar then went on to become a fighter pilot out of our course 37 people went to the air force academy out of which only four people four people 
went to the fighters and mp anil kumar was one of them and do you know what he wear, what he got there he got got the best in flying trophy of the course see from where he is coming see his background from where he is coming he has no nothing to, he knew about the indian air force but he excelled at the air force academy also and was posted to three squadron in 1985 after spending one year at the moftu in in uh, this place in tezpur right so he went to tezpur became a fighter pilot got the best trophy there too came to pathan court posted to three squadron nominated for best upcoming fighter pilot trophy uh, in the three squadron with the dasi visit going good everything going good for him and then it happens he was on a trip to nasik ozar to bring bring an aircraft from there he had gone there for four five days and by the time he came back it was evening he landed in pathan court and he went to the crew room and he decided to see which was filling up of the author book and filling up of some you know returns so he decided to stay in the squadron while the other people were going for a party he said i will complete my work because i have not been here for a week or so i will complete my work and then come back and while he was doing this work there was a thunderstorm all the lights went off and mp anil kumar decided to go back on his bike and then the accident happened the accident also was absolutely nothing happened he was completely no injuries were there only thing that happened was he broke his spine and then there was no coming back for him he was moved to delhi stayed there for a month they operated him took him down to pune put him in kamara uh, in the mh at kharki and then after 2 years he was boarded out because nothing else could be done so he had lost entire control over his so my story about mp anil kumar takes you through his life from his village to his death in 2014 he died at at the age of 50 finally he got injured at the age of 24 and 26 years in the wheelchair just imagine 26 years in the wheelchair and what did he do in the wheelchair he did not waste his life his life was so full of things he did so many things that you and i normal human beings so called we call as a long normal he could do much much more than what we could do so <clears throat> this is mp anil kumar for you then how i trace the story from there on into the as a paraplegic after he gets boarded out so before that i must tell you another story that i, I have forgotten to tell so when he was in hospital in delhi i was flying to delhi in a helicopter from i had i was now flying to delhi in a helicopter and uh, i landed there when mp anil kumar landed in delhi in the avro and you know what uh, in the hospital he told us that he doesn't want to live anymore because he did not want to become a burden on anybody he says you g- get me some poison and i will end my life so there were two or three of us coachmates around him who said okay okay don't worry you will be fine he said no i want the poison because i don't want to become a you know dependent on anybody i don't want to live a live a life like this so we told him okay we will get you the poison but you will have to wait for the poison for 5 years if after 5 years you feel that you want to die we will give you the poison promise so that was the deal done and mp anil kumar after 5 years to that day usko wo date bhi yaad thi jis din humne mere ko bhi yaad nahi thi us date ko usne humko email likha 5 saal baad saying that the poison is no longer required i have found my purpose in life so what happened in these 3 4 years at pune he was boarded out shifted to paraplegic home which is at kharki in pune and then he started living his life in the wheelchair and dependency and all that i spoke about now in the hospital there was a nurse who came and met him and they became friends and in fact the story goes much more deeper than that both of them were in love with each other actually this nurse was the one who you know kind of cajoled him to write with his mouth and the first letters that he wrote with his mouth were to this lady thereafter he started writing with his mouth and he started writing articles with his mouth and the first mouth written essay which i have recorded in the book is called ebon to chebon he talks about flying at 800 km an hour to being in a wheelchair at 8 km per hour and how he feels about being you know in a wheelchair so this is the essay he wrote with his mouth see how beautifully he has written the words and it was printed as he wrote it in the newspapers for which he got an award for the best essay 500 rupees in those times okay so i will i will just read out just a few lines from here he says all my attempts to rationalize personal catastrophes have always mystified and at times stupefied me anyway i had to break the self imposed stupor to adapt to new challenges posed by the debility 
Therefore, in September 90, I decided to learn the art of writing by holding a pen in my mouth. I began by illegibly scribbling alpha, beta, but changed to find something on the rights. It's, it's a little, uh, you know, faded out. And he writes the first letter to his uh, nurse by the name of Sheila George, the person who kept shiving me to start mouth writing. Okay. And in the end, the whole essay is about how his life uh, changed. And he writes in the end, believe it or not, every dark cloud has a silver lining. To surmount even seemingly insuperable barriers, one has to shun the thought of disability and muster the remnant faculties and canalize one's energies purposefully and wholeheartedly. His English, his English is outstanding. Coming from a village, again, think about it. Coming from a village, how he has improved his language, this is all, all, all hard work and determination. In the last line is the best. He says, greater the difficulty, sweeter the victory. That's what he says. Okay. So, this is MP Anil Kumar for you. This is the kind of a person he was. Never give up. And uh, you'll be surprised that people who did not even meet him, did not even know about him, got inspired for, from him and, you know, led a normal life after that. I'll give you a few examples of this. There is a lady called Ashla Rani who was thrown off a train in Chennai and she, she got uh, injured very badly. She also wanted to end her life and she had a spinal injury. She heard about MPL Kumar, read about him in the, some newspaper. She did some research on him, found out how he was living without hands and legs. She could at least use her knuckles to type. Although she was in a wheelchair, she could still manage a few things herself. So she got motivated and decided that she must do something. Today, she is just a few days ago, she has got the national award for, you know, a whole lot of things. I'll come back to it a little later. I hope she's joining, joining the show. I have called her on the show. Let's hope she comes here. I will introduce you to her. Then when I was writing the story, there was another person I met. I had a friend in Dehradun. I was writing the story and I met a friend in Dehradun who wanted me to met, meet a friend, another friend of hers. So we went, we spoke and in passing, as he baate karte karte, ma'am ne unko bataya ki ye ek kitab likh rahe hai abhi, ek uh, quadriplegic ke upar. To wo jo ladki thi, mere saamne baiti thi, unhone ka, achha, quadriplegic matlab M.P. Anil Kumar. So I said, there are thousands of quadriplegic in this country. How could you think of only MP Anil Kumar? So the girl told me that I am alive today because of MP Anil Kumar. So I got very intrigued. I said, how did that happen? So she said, okay, uh, we'll meet for a lunch and then we will talk about it. So we met later. And uh, what this girl told me was that she was employed in one of the very, very high five societies of Mumbai. She was an MBA and she was working as, uh, you know, one of these Tata's, Ambani's, one of these people, she was working in their back end. And uh, she fell in love with a friend of hers, who a comrade of hers who was working alongside her. And after a, they decided to get married, but she found out just a few days before things were to be finalized, she found out that this man was cheating on her. So she decided to end her life. Now I'll stop here. While she was in school, she had studied the chapter on MPL Kumar called Airborne to Chebon. Airborne to Chebon in the newspaper, it became part of the English syllabus of Maharashtra, 10th class. So, wo usko, uh, usne, uska jo pages tha, book, ka, textbook, ka wo phaad ke rakha tha apne paas. Aur jabhi wo down hoti thi, wo padti thi. So, when she went back to her home in Dhaisar in Mumbai, and she was planning how, to, how she wants to end her life, in, inside the magazine, an old magazine that was lying at home, she found this chapter of MP Anil Kumar, Ebon to Chebon. Or then she read it, and then decided that this is not a benefit, it doesn't have to end life. So she decided to start her life again. Today she is doing wonderful business. She is a big business woman staying in Dehradun. Okay. So such stories, I have recorded hundreds and hundreds of people who have come and spoken to me about MP Anil Kumar, his course mates, his friends, from his family, everybody. And while I was writing the story, because I had to write as MP Anil Kumar, it was a biography that I was writing. So I thought that I would have to learn everything to do it first. So I went to his home, Trivandrum. And I was going to go to his home. I slept in MP Anil Kumar's bed. I ate what MP Anil Kumar would eat in the same plate. His mother served me in the same plate as MP. He, she served me what MP Anil Kumar likes liked to eat. He used to like that fish pickle, chota chota fish wala pickle, which I never liked to eat fish. But over there, I ate the fish that his mother offered me. And 
I spoke to everybody. I did not know Malayalam, so I had an interpreter with me. So I spoke to the entire family. Then I went to a school. उसके स्कूल में जाके मैं बच्चों के साथ रहा चौथी पांचवी बच्चों के साथ बात करी कि कैसे लगता है घर से रहना दूर क्या कैसे ट्रेनिंग होती है वहां पे तो स्कूल में जाके सब कुछ देखा उसके बाद तो ऑफकोर्स एनडीए मैंने देखा था और एयरफोर्स का लाइफ तो देखा ही था तो मेरे को लिखने के लिए आई हैव टू गो एंड सिट स्पेंड आवर्स एंड आवर्स विथ क्वार्टर प्लेजिक्स एंड पैरा प्लेजिक्स इन इन पुणे आई स्पेंड लॉट ऑफ टाइम सिटिंग विद देम एंड टॉकिंग टू देम ऑल द टाइम इनफैक्ट ऑन छुट्टी में जाता था पुना तो मेरी वाइफ बोलती थी कि तेरे को कुछ और टाइम ही नहीं करने के लिए तू बस पूरा टाइम वहीं जाके बैठ जाता है इन दी यू नो इन दी पैरालॉजिक होम सो अबाउट 400 टू 500 पीपल ऑन द इंटरनेट मैंने एम पी कुमार के कंप्यूटर से सारी उसकी जितने फ्रेंड्स की लिस्ट थी सबको मेल भेजी कि वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू राइट अबाउट हिम टेल मी वॉट यू थिंक अबाउट हिम सो दैट इज हाउ आई गैदर दिस एंटायर स्टोरी टूगेदर एंड आई रोट दिस बुक बिकॉज एम पी कुमार इज एन इंस्पिरेशन फॉर Everybody who reads about him. आज तक मेरे को ऐसा कुछ कोई मैं हजारों टॉक्स दे चुका हूँ एम पी एल कुमार हजारों टॉक्स दे चुका हूँ यूनिवर्सिटीज में आई आई टी में स्कूल में पता नहीं कहाँ कहाँ पे मैंने टॉक दिया है एंड आई ऑलवेज द रिस्पॉन्स हैज बीन वाओ वी विल नॉट गिव अपिलरली टूडे इन द डेज वेन यू नो कोरोना ये वो सब कुछ हो रहा था पीपल गिविंग अप सो इजिली बट After reading this book, after doing about M P N Kumar, you know, come back with positive attitude. One small side or a very group captain's half dose the. So his um his father was 80 plus and he had suffered a brain injury. So his brain was fu- functioning at 20 percent and he was very fond of reading books. Unfortunately, after the hospital bed, after the bed, he became a little out and he could not read anymore. He lost interest in life, all that. So this group captain requested me for this book. I sent him a copy. He read out. this entire book to his father and i am not boasting i am not telling a lie uncle 80 years plus he has become 80% brain okay now he has started reading again okay so this is the kind of effect that mpl kumar can have on people and i have noted hundreds and hundreds of stories like this so i can go on and on and on ek ghanta ka ek ek din 10 din bhi kam ho jayenge iske bare mein so this is the photographs of mp in his childhood then as a pilot officer while passing out from national defense academy and in the iskara aircraft at hakimpet and in the mig 21 at three squadron in pathan court this is mpn kumar after he has come to the paraplegic home look at the number of books behind him itni padhai karta tha usko vedas and you know chanakya pata nahi jiske bare mein aap usko poocho geeta he knew everything backwards usko agar koi question pooch lo wo kehta tha wo wali kitab uthao page 71 mein jao wahan pe likha hua hai he was that bright even when he was in this condition look at his hands they all become teda meda because they can't be used he is on the right photograph this is the special thing that we got made for him with a computer and a keyboard which was vertical and he used to use a pencil in his mouth to type each letter aap kahoge ki shift key kaise dabayega do key kaise dabayega to iska bhi jugad tha uske paas he made shortcuts for each of these requirements for typing and then he could type fairly easily what happens is if you hold a pencil in your mouth for too long if you try it with yourself and you can't move any part of your body only thing is you moving your neck like this to type what happens is you get very severe pain in your neck and your mouth pura dry ho jata hai to ye bhi ek problem tha uske jaws dard karte the par wo type karna nahi choda and the amount of articles that he wrote thereafter i introduced him to readif.com for uh, abhi bhi main unke liye likhta hu readif ke liye aur isne itne badhiya itne fantastic articles likhe ki you can't even imagine the if you go to readif.com and type his name you will get all his articles so the editor in chief of readif.com once told me that this man's article you can't even change a single word he is so perfect in his articulation so this is what his writing was all about fantastic writing from politics to defense to aap koi bhi subject lijiye cricket he was very fond of cricket right till the end cricket and football okay so he used to write a lot of articles on cricket and in a very different he had a very different style of writing a beautiful style of writing sense of humor amazing the niche wala photograph that is a lot of children used to come and meet him at his home and he used to talk to them on weekends ek aur story yaad aati hai mujhe main to khatam hi nahi karunga isko but uh, this is the last one mp anil kumar got a letter from a small girl in a village in maharashtra saying that you know i love you and uh, i i am completely you know kind of admire you for what you are because i have read so much about you and the story and this and that and the other 
and she wrote her name and posted it to him so this inland letter came to him there was no address at the back to hum kya karte koi normal aadmi kehta theek hai yaar admiration letter aaya theek hai rakh dete hain side mp anil kumar ne he asked for a magnifying glass he discerned ki kis jagah se ye chitthi aayi hai wo stamp ke upar se us jagah ka naam liya us jagah pe fortunately he knew somebody in that village so he rang that person up in the village and told him ki aise aise ek ladki hai uska naam ye hai usne mujhe chitthi likhi hai uska mujhe address bhej do aur kuch mat bolna usko so he found out the address of this girl and wrote a beautiful letter back to her saying that firstly when you write to somebody you must give your address at least so that if a person wants to reply he will so first lines were like this wo ladki aaj doctor ban gayi hai and bahut sara matlab bahut sari kahaniyan hain aur aur bhi hain so we will not go into that this is uh, when i went to his home in uh, trivandrum do bahar ka jo drawing room hai it is full of photographs of mp anil kumar aur kuch nahi wahan pe ek india ka air force ka flag hai mp anil kumar ki sari photographs hain that is his mother i sat at her feet and uh, she gave me a blessings that is the bed of mp anil kumar with that it has been preserved the way he wanted it when he was when he used to come on leave it has been preserved the way he wanted it same bed sheet has been kept all these years okay that is the table next to the bed on which he, he is to eat his food all his trophies everything is lying all over around his bed on the right hand side you can see one of his nieces and the two sisters and the photographs that they have put in the drawing room this is that thing i read out to you this is handwritten essay so how neat it is and uh, the last part i read out to you greater the drift victory and um, you know uh, this is uh, uski expression ke bare mein maine bola tha to this is just part of my book it says that the credits at nda ये एनडीए के बारे में लिखा है उसने कुछ इसके understood what horse riding is one secondly is the sense of humor also hurting from the saddle bite i picked up during my maiden riding i could not but wonder why future military officers should undergo horse riding only only later it dawned on me that riding made a horse sense having put up with a generation of carriage the entire horses knew who was at up and that horse machine puzzles in disbelief neighing bucking and kicking the rider had to earn the respect of the animal period analogically an officer has to earn the respect of his subordinates to become an effective leader all this is written after he became a paraplegic ye maine mp anil kumar ka jo last din hai in at karki ye push kari thi because what the orderly told me what he was doing so this is how it went darkness the room seems to be going round and round he had he had got uh, blood cancer he was dying of blood cancer and the doctors had said aur kuch nahi ho sakta bhi let him just die so the room seems to be going round and round let it rotate there is so much to do and so little time my mailbox is overflowing so many friends want to know how i am and what i am up to i have to reply to them there is so little time where is amma has she made the fried fish as i like it with the extra masala the cat needs to be put on a diet shija shija is his sister don't sit on achan's lap achan is his father okay so don't sit on achan's lap don't you know he is your father where is my book i have miles to go before i sleep wait wait there is light i see beyond the darkness so ye sari jo uski puri life ki jo reel thi it went round and round in front of his eyes before he died this is what the first lines of my book are like this i spoke about ashla Ra- ashla rani this is the lady she is in pallium india in trivandrum and she just uh, won the kerala, kerala government's youth icon award and now last week only she has won a national award most efficient employee in the non government sector now i have got somebody for you on the show hey, mridul ghosh are you there Yes sir. I am here. yes sir i am here sir. hi mridul how are you i am going to surprise sir. you with mridul ghosh today so mridul is the one here he is lc mridul ghosh ex indian air force now living at the paraplegic home in kharki i have written about him also he is also a paraplegic and he he was in saranpur when he met with an accident in an auto rickshaw while coming back from leave and i want him to talk to you about what he thinks about mpn kumar and what he is doing today incidentally i must tell you that you know he might not talk too much about what is on the right hand side these are the paintings that mridul ghosh has done with his mouth he is a mouth painter he is internationally acclaimed and he's got lot of awards 
and does mp anil kumar have anything to do in his life well well let's let's hear it from him only nudul you have the stage i will stop the sh- uh, screen share so, and yeah. you have the stage you can